hello students i am ready with my next video i know it's been long time i made video right due to some problems i was unable to make video but i am ready with my video number 6 again on mathematics and introduction to trigonometry and this will be continued as you can see i have already written one problem of the board and the question is the problem is if cot theta is equal to 7 by 8 evaluate that means calculate the value of 1 plus sin theta into 1 minus sin theta whole divided by 1 plus cos theta into 1 minus cos theta and the second question is cot square theta we will first evaluate the value of this and then this one right cot theta is given cot theta we know the definition of cot theta we already know the definition of cot theta cot theta is adjacent divided by opposite it is the reciprocal of tan theta tan is opposite divided by adjacent cot is adjacent divided by opposite so we will make we will first evaluate the values of we will first find the side lengths right now as you can see at this cot is adjacent this is 7 and opposite is 8 so adjacent is 7 units and opposite is 8 units so where is opposite and adjacent we all know that we have theta theta this is theta here theta so if this is theta then the side opposite to theta will be opposite and the side adjacent to theta that is next to theta attached to theta will be adjacent so opposite is 8 this is 8 units and adjacent is 7 units adjacent is 7 units now we are ready with two sides now we have to find the value of the third side and that is very easy as you know we can use pythagoras theorem according to according to pythagoras theorem square on the hypotenuse square on the hypotenuse is equal to sum of squares of other two sides so that will be ab square plus bc square now ac square is equal to ab ab is 8 square plus bc bc is 7 AB is eight, BC is seven. We got these values from the given value of cot, right? Now, this let's calculate this. AC square will be equal to eight square is sixty-four plus this will be forty-nine. So that will be one hundred and thirteen. So AC will be equal to square root of 113 but 113 is not a perfect square keep it as it is so hypotenuse is square root of 113 we got this right now let's calculate the value of this 1 plus sin theta for that we need the value of sin and cos we know the definition of sin is opposite divided by hypotenuse and the definition of cos is adjacent divided by hypotenuse let's calculate this one so this will be let's write the given expression once again 1 plus sin theta into 1 minus sin theta Whole divided by one plus cos theta divided by one minus cos theta. That will be equal to one plus 
the value of sine sine is opposite divided by hypotenuse opposite divided by hypotenuse opposite is 8 divided by hypotenuse is under root 113 8 divided by root 13 into 1 minus 8 divided by 113 then that will be 4 divided by 1 plus cos theta cos is adjacent divided by hypotenuse adjacent is 7 and hypotenuse is root 113 adjacent cos is adjacent divided by hypotenuse adjacent divided by hypotenuse is 113 into 1 minus again cos theta adjacent divided by hypotenuse the value of adjacent is 7 and hypotenuse we calculated it is coming under root 113 if you observe carefully we have here one identity that is a plus b into a minus b a plus b into a minus b a plus b into a minus b is a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square we have one in place of a and a divided by root 13 in place of b a plus b into a minus b so that will be a square minus b square so that will be again here also the same a plus b into a minus b see we have a here 1 1 b is 7 divided by root 13 so it will be a square a square minus b square so that will be equal to 1 square is 1 minus 8 square is 64 divided by this will be 113 because square and root will get cancelled square 8 square is 64 square root of 113 square and root will get cancelled 113 divided by again 1 minus the 7 square is 49 divided by 113 so that will be equal to we can take 113 as the LCM here let me write here again or I will write here I will write here we can take 113 as LCM 113 second LCM 113 will multiply with 1 that will be 113 minus 64 divided by again 113 is LCM 113 into 1, 113 minus 49. So that this 113 will get cancelled. So what is left? 113 minus 64. 13 minus 4 is 9. Here 10 minus 49 divided by here also it will be 64. So the value of this, the value of 1 plus sin theta divided by 1 minus sin theta and 1 plus cos theta divided by 1 minus cos theta is 49 divided by 64 remember this value 49 divided by 64 is coming I will write here the first answer is 49 divided by 64 is coming 49 divided by 64 is coming right so we solved this now let's solve the second one cot square theta right so that will be that is very easy cot square theta we all know the value of cot theta. Cot theta is 7 by 8. So 7 divided by 8. Cot theta is 7 by 8. Then square. Because it has square here. Cot theta value 7 by 8 and square. So that will be equal to 49 divided by 64. 7 square is 49. 8 square is 64. This is also coming 49 divided by 64. 49 divided by 64, same answer is coming. Now, question comes, why do we get the same answer? The value of this expression, 1 plus sin theta into 1 minus sin theta divided by 1 plus cos theta into 1 minus cos theta is 49 divided by 64 and the value of second cot square theta is also cot square theta is also coming 49 divided by 64. Why is it so? Let's see, I will show you. 1 plus sine theta, keep this in your mind. 1 plus sine theta. 
Now, if you observe carefully, 